Radio Hams participated in the largest on-air amateur radio event in the world Saturday and Sunday. Shane Lee tunes in with the Brainerd Area Amateur Radio Club for the 2012 Anim Amateur Radio Relay League Field Day. Amateur radio operators, or HAMS, gathered at the Crow Wing County Fairgrounds Saturday to participate in a contest that spans the United States and Canada. The HAMS create radio message traffic to simulate emergency conditions. We're operating in the field today under emergency power with portable antennas and obviously a, a portable trailer uh, to communicate with as many stations as we can in 24 hours. In the first hour, Luce contacted people in Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Ontario. HAMS create emergency messages as a public service as agreed to in their licenses with the Federal Communications Commission. Under emergency conditions, we have to prove that we can do this effectively without the aid of any other equipment other than just what we have here that we own ourselves. Equipment comes in all shapes and sizes in ham radio. Ron Finger's station is comprised of military surplus and eBay purchases. The main mast is actually a military surplus light mast for, for lighting and it cranks up to be about 35 feet. When it comes to antennas, size does not always matter. Finger thought he was going to have a lot of success with his 30-foot vertical antenna, but instead he has made more contacts on his six-foot spider antenna. One of the things we do a lot uh, in, in amateur radio is experiment with antennas. Ham radio does not interfere with radio stations you would find on your AM or FM dial because of the signal's frequency. These are signals that are transmitted at radio frequencies that bounce off the ionosphere. They don't require local repeater devices. They don't require the internet or a broadband connection. It strictly goes through the airwaves. The conditions of the radio frequencies change throughout the day, which is why the field day occurs over a 24-hour period. The Brainerd Hams made contact with 45 different states and three Canadian provinces. Not bad for a 30 feet tall antenna. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. There are more than 750,000 amateur radio licensees in the United States. Ham radio operators were active in the Wadena tornado in 2010. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.